Greetings and welcome. I'm Reverend Vern Sweat, and in the spirit of God's radically inclusive, unconditional love, welcome to Keeping in Touch, a video of the Sylvania United Church of Christ. This is a weekly update about our life and ministry as a community of faith. I would like to begin by lifting up our chats, the Zoom chats with Pastor Vern and Rebecca. This past Sunday, it felt great to preach my first sermon as senior pastor. But as I was preaching in an empty sanctuary, with the exception of Mary Meadows and the tech team behind me, um, it really hit me how eager I am, how much I want to begin connecting with you and getting to know you, all the members of our congregation, our community of faith. Um, the Zoom chats are not as ideal as gathering in person, but they are one of the next best things. So I hope everyone who is able to will sign up for one of those. I believe that there are five scheduled at this point, uh, Wednesday afternoons and Thursday evenings. The details for those are in the newsletter that went out this afternoon, uh, right at 12 noon. And uh, if you don't see it right away, you just need to scroll to the bottom of the page where there are a number of links. And there is a link there for chats with Pastor Vern and Rebecca. So I really hope that you'll do that during this pandemic where we can't be together in person. We do have some challenges, but we can overcome them. And I really wanna connect with you in person. The, the welcome book has been wonderful. It's a good start, but I wanna take the next step and the Zoom chats would be a great way to do that. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you are more than welcome to contact Joyce Betty or Joyce Beatty Joyce Beatty or Kathy Tashima. This coming Sunday is homecoming Sunday. Though we can't come together the way we normally would, we're going to be creative and adventuresome and come together in our parking lot. Uh, we will have what we're calling a parking lot drive-in worship service. Uh, the service will also be online, live streamed, for anyone who can't make it to the parking lot or who needs to stay home for whatever reason. You'll also be able to see it in that format. Um, a number of, of aspects of the service will be unique and fun. So um, I'm going to call upon some of our team to share uh, some different parts of this service. Uh, I think I'll start with Kristen. Kristen? Hi, everybody. So yes, this Sunday is our homecoming Sunday. Um, the fellowship committee or board is really looking forward to greeting you in the parking lot. They will be distributing snacks, um, some beverages, everything. Um, tightly closed and safety protocols followed. So we'll look forward to greeting you in the parking lot with a snack. Also, someone will greet you if you have children in your car with an activity that, they, that will um, coincide with the service so that we are anticipating kids and we hope that everyone of all ages will join us on Sunday. In light of that, Janet Hildebrandt will be leading a children's message during the service that will coincide with the overall theme. So we hope you'll join us on Sunday for snacks and children's activities. Everyone will stay in your car, but um, we'll be happy to pass things in to you. So see you Sunday. Thanks, Vern. Thank you, Kristen. I think it's uh, great that we'll have Janet with us to have a special moment with the children. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Catherine, I know that the Faith Formation Board has a special project in mind. Can you share with us about that? Hi, Vern. Yeah, I'm very excited. We, uh, we're picking up a project that started way back in Lent, uh, in that time before any of us had really thought about COVID-19. 
uh, we were weaving in the fellowship in the gathering area uh, and we were weaving into a wire frame with strips of colored paper and that project was placed on hold because we were no longer able to be physically together in the church building but we're very excited to share with you that this sunday we're going to re begin that project uh, and so you are invited to bring an object to weave now that object there are a few limitations please don't bring 15 feet of two inch diameter rope that might be a little too challenging so limit your your offerings to items that are about an inch wide and 12 inches long but any object that you think represents your family members would be wonderful so perhaps a shoelace from everyone's worn shoes so that we can see how you live life. Um, perhaps a strip of fabric in your school colors or the colors of a college student who's away at university right now. Uh, perhaps a strip of a favorite piece of clothing that you no longer wear, but you want to share with the congregation. A piece of ribbon, a piece of yarn, something to represent every member of your family and perhaps even the furry members of your family if those are important to you as well. So bring that piece of weaving material with you either to the parking lot worship or if you prefer you can drop those in a bin just inside the office door and that bin is available right now and it will be there through Sunday or Monday. Um, so either bring it with you or drop it off ahead of time. Members of Faith Formation will collect those items if you come to the parking lot worship as you're arriving, and they will be turned into a wonderful piece of liturgical art. So that even if we continue to be socially distanced or uh, only able to worship in the parking lot, we will still have the visible reminder that we are woven together. So we're very excited and we look forward to seeing you all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Catherine. And just uh, picking up on the theme of being woven together, we are indeed woven together. And um, that tapestry includes, in my mind, not only people who are here now, but it could also include people who have been actively engaged in the life of the church in the past. Um, what caused me to think of that is when you mentioned a strip of clothing. In a former church that I served, we did a, a project very much like this. And there was a woman um, whose husband had passed away just a few years prior, but the church had been extremely important to him. It meant a lot to him and to her as a couple. And as part of the tapestry, she cut a strip out of um, one of his favorite shirts and wove it into the tapestry to symbolize um, first how important the church was to him, but even though he had passed on, he was still a part of the community of faith. So I would invite anyone who wants to remember a loved one who is a part of the church or, or just a loved one even if they weren't a part of the church, we're all connected through God's spirit. So this tapestry is really open to anyone that we want to include as a part of God's love, which is everyone, everyone who feels called. So um, I can't wait to see what this weaving looks like as it comes together. Thanks again, Catherine. And uh, Mary has some more information to share with us about Sunday. Yes, thanks, Vern. Um, so, as you can imagine, there might be some um, logistic issues in terms of getting everybody into the parking lot. So, just so you know what our goal is, Al Campan is heading up a team who will help guide the parking. That probably will include some confirmand volunteers as well as other adults. Uh, so look for waving noodles, uh, but we will enter through the west side as we have for the various parades and you'll be uh, sent forward uh, to a parking space. We're parking every other space and then behind that row it'll be staggered the opposite uh, sort of set of um, um, parking spaces. Um, we're parking back from the 
the two most forward ones. So uh, because of where uh, Vern will, Pastor Vern will be in, um, in during this service. And so we're hoping to get uh, Vern elevated. Um, Al Campan and Bruce Glover and Luann Glover are working on that uh, to uh, make sure that he is as visible as possible. Uh, during the service. You'll be able to tune in on an FM station. We'll give you those call numbers on Sunday. Um, and then uh, you, you're you also welcome to stream on your phone while you're doing that, but you should know that in streaming, it's about 20 seconds behind real life, so that can get very uh, uh, disconnected. So, uh, But if there is some trouble seeing what's going on, that's another way to connect. Um, I believe that's the main thing. Oh, so we will enter in the west exit and at the end look for someone to guide you out. We're probably first in, we'll leave um, and be first out out of the east uh, exit. So uh, just be sure to follow those who are guiding you on Sunday morning. I think it's fair to say that uh, we'll need everyone's cooperation in terms of coming in and finding a space. Um, but if we work together, we'll get that done. There's a motto that I learned on mission trips, which I think is um, very appropriate here. Flexibility is fun. Um, this will be the first time that we're trying a parking lot drive-in service. So um, it is an experiment, first time out. But if we're flexible, we can have fun. And I think it will be really nice for us to come together in that way. Um, we still won't be able to shake hands or hug, but we can see each other from a distance. We can wave and uh, maybe we'll come up with some kind of coordinated um, honk or parking lot cheer or a set of uh, some kind of sign language that has to do with lights being on and off. Um, we'll see. but. It, I just look forward to all of us being together Sunday. Um, if there were heavy rain, we would we would not be able to have the service. We would just have to um, cancel or postpone and simply do the service online. If it's a you know, misty or something, uh, we talked about getting an umbrella or something to put over the equipment and uh, over the sermon. So. Uh, do bear in mind if the weather were really bad, we would go back to our normal schedule for Sunday. Um, I will share the scripture passage for this coming Sunday. It is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28, for anyone who would like to look at that ahead of time. Uh, I believe that the sermon will have something to do with putting our trust in God, uh, taking a leap of faith. So a little bit of a, uh, a seed to think about for Sunday's service. Uh, I think that's it for this week. I want to thank everyone for joining us, say that we hope to see you Sunday, and I would like to close with a short prayer. Let us be together in the spirit of prayer. Gracious and loving God, we pray for our church, our state, our country, and our world. As the number of people who have passed away from the coronavirus goes over 190,000. Help us to remember all of those who are impacted in so many different ways by this terrible pandemic, but especially those who have lost their lives and their loved ones who will miss them so dearly. Help us never to forget them. God, as we continue to move through this week as, indiv as individuals and as a community of faith, Sylvania United Church of Christ. May we shine your light and share your love in all that we say and in all that we do for the sake of all your children and for the sake of your world. In Christ's name, amen.
Goodbye, everybody. We hope the rest of your week goes well, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday.